to this class of how to chant with the crystal singing bowls. My name is Andrea Cortez, music therapist and sound meditation teacher with My Body Music Center. And I'm going to show you a short, very simple, simple chant, mantra chant that you can sing with your bowls. I'm gonna give you the chord structure and melody structure. It doesn't matter if you know music, if you um, already play an instrument, I'm gonna do this really simple so that you can understand it. Um, and you can also know which bowls you want to play for uh, singing this chant with me. So let me give you first the harmony structure. I'm gonna be singing in the key of C. Don't worry if you don't know what that means. First, let me just explain. Um, the key of C, we're going to start with the C chord, and it has the notes C, E, and G. The other chord we're going to be using is the G major chord, has the notes G, B, and D. And the last chord we're going to be using is F major, and it has the notes F, A, and C. So if you have a whole set of crystal bowls, you're going to have all of those notes already, because all the sets that are sold right now for crystal bowls are based on the C major scale, um, which they call chakra sets, but really it's just the C major scale. So if you don't have all of those notes and maybe you have just a few, you can um, see if you have the same notes that I'm gonna be using today. I have a C, a G, a B, and an F. So I'm not gonna use every note in the chord. So I just named out each note for each chord, but I'm not going to use every full chord. So you can actually play this chant with just two bowls, C and G. Or you can also just play it with one bowl. You can chant with just one. So the crystal bowls are such a great accompaniment to the voice because they give a very nice drone to support the voice. So if you want to, if you don't have a crystal bowl and you want to know which one you should get, you might want to find one that's good for your voice if you want to sing with it. Um, C is a good mid-range and you could get two bowls. So these can be a little bit spendy if you want to buy the whole set. They can cost around a thousand, two thousand dollars to get a whole set. If you want to just get two, you can do a lot with just two bowls. So your C and your G is going to create the first chord for our chant today. So it's not a complete chord. Remember the C chord is C E G. If you have an E, you can also add that in. I don't have an E with me here today, but the C, E, G chord is really beautiful. You're creating a really beautiful harmony. So you can add in an E with that. I would recommend that. It's really nice with an E. So all you need really is the C and the G to start, and that's what I'm gonna be playing here for this chant. So this mantra that I'm sharing with you today is very simple. The words are um, Sanskrit and you may have heard this in yoga if you take yoga class. So this chant is Om Nama Shivaya. Om Nama Shivaya. And it's just repeated over and over again. So one of the beautiful things about chant and mantra is that these words carry a very high vibration and if you repeat it it really is a beautiful meditation to sing these words and chant them it helps to have these bowls too it just adds a lot of harmony and beauty in it so let's start with the first line i just want to say also if you have another chant that you know or that you prefer, you can interchange those words with this melody. You can begin to get comfortable with the bowls and make up your own melodies. This is a very, very simple practice. 
You don't have to have any kind of fancy, complex melodies. So let's start with the first line. I'm starting with C and G. The first line goes, that. If you want to sing with me, even if you don't have a bowl to play, you can just repeat with me. Om Namah Shivaya. One more time. Om Namah Shivaya. Second line. I'm going to move to the B and play the G and the B. Om Namah. I'm going to change back to my C. Shivaya. So I just switched chords there from a G to a C. So you can watch the second line. Om Namah. Shivaya. You want to create a lot of space this singing and blending the bowls because your B may begin to clash with the C if it's really resonating too high so this is the issue that comes up when playing with the bowls because if you have two notes close together like your C and your B this creates dissonance and F and E will create dissonance so you want to be careful and listening if some of your bowls get too loud especially the B while you're playing this you can quiet it down or you can just play it very softly. Just a note. So I'm going to play that first part for you again with the words. actually just watch for the changes. This is a B bowl. So when I move to this B bowl, I'm moving to the G chord. So it'll be G and B. When I move back to here, I'm moving back to my C. So you can follow along if you have bowls and these notes to play. Let's sing that first part again. repetitions are four lines. So let me play it again. You can watch the changes. I'm starting with the C and the G. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya to introduce the F chord. Now again, I'm not playing the full chord. I just have my F here. And 
and my C still playing here. So the next part of the melody, I switch to my F and bring in the next line. So I will move to the F and you will see the second part. So let's try from the beginning here. didn't switch to the B at all during that. So you can see you can just play this with the C and the G on that melody. And adding in these accent notes would be my B and my E, which I don't have an E, but if you do, you can add that in. So the second part, let's try it. Om Namah Shivaya together you can watch my transitions to see where I am moving in the words of the song to the different notes so again I have my C my G here and I have my B and F here
want to make sure you're leaving lots of space in between transitioning enough space for a good breath in between the words but it also helps for the transition so you don't get too much blurring of your bowls really if you have an f and you have an e that you just sounded there's going to be clashing and you probably can hear it and so you want to make sure that you don't create too much dissonance the whole point of bringing in the chords for the bowls is to create harmony so remembering that chords in music are creating harmony c e and g is a beautiful major chord and those sounding at the same time together create harmony if you bring in a b in that it might start to clash so you just want to make sure um, you're creating enough space that the sound diminishes from one bowl when you then transition to the next. If you find that one of your bowls is playing too loud, you're gonna wanna kind of silence it a little bit. If you would like to learn more about chanting with the bowls, I'm going to put up another video related to this mantra up onto my Patreon for members to watch and follow along. So a little more instructional video on this mantra and taking it to a lower key. This is in the key of C, but some of you might feel more comfortable going to a lower key. So how would you do that and what would the bowl uh, combo B for that. So I'll put that up. You'll find that soon on the Patreon page. So thank you so much for joining and listening to this class. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to learn more about the Patreon membership, there's a link below and you can follow and find that. Thank you.